Okay, so we will be making a 2 inch by 1 inch by an eighth of an inch aluminum extrusion with a 45 angle degree cut on one of the corners. So we will start with going to sketch and uh, I use the front plane. Uh, you can use any plane you want to start with, but I like to use the front. And for this part, I will use the center rectangle instead of the corner rectangle or the other ones. And you'll see why in a minute. So select this. And with the center, I'll place the center in the, in the origin. So if I do that, I drag out a arbitrary shape and select Smart Dimension. <clears throat> So after I've got smart dimensions selected, uh, I'll start entering dimensions. So let's make this one inch and this two inches. So no matter what I do, since I've got the origin set on the origin, this part will, or this drawing will always be centered at the origin. And so since all constraints are met, the lines are black and not blue, that means they will not get moved accidentally. This will always stay one inch by two inch unless I change it. So all right, let's exit this sketch, enter features, and extrude this to the desired length. So let's say seven inches. And then OK. Now, there's a few ways you can make the 45 angle degree cut. One of the ways is using under fillet, there's chamfer. And I'll select this line, this edge right here. And what you will see is a preview. You can select no preview, but I like. Um, there's the distance and there's the angle. Now, 45 degree angle is already selected, but if I change this, the angle becomes less steep. So let's say, let's, let's set this at 45. And so next, we want the angle to be from this corner to wherever it will be over here. Now. We do this so that we can put two of these pieces together and make 90 degrees. So uh, under distance, since this length is one inch, and if I hit one inch over here, it will set this point one inches away from the edge you've selected. So as well as in this direction. Now. I can change it by, I'll show you how. So if I set this to 0.5, the distance from this uh, edge that you've selected is 0.5 from the ending point of this slant. So let's, now that you know why this works, let's go back to one. Okay. So if I click okay, now I've got the cut and then I will put in the shell. So if I select the shell feature and hit 0.125 into my my thickness and select this face and this face. Now, I'm selecting faces, not edges. This will only work if you select faces. And uh, to show preview, you'll see that the inside is hollowed out. And you can change the direction of the shell. If I select shell outward, I'll make a eighth of an inch skin around this extrusion. If I, shell, if I deselect that, it'll be on the inside. So then I click OK. And now I have a one inch by two inch 
by 0.125 inch thick aluminum extrusion with a 45 angle degree cut. Now here's a different way. Um, I'm going to control Z, so I hold control Z to go back. Oops, went far back too much. It's okay, so hit control Y. Okay, sometimes control Y doesn't work. Alright, so back from where we started. Uh, extrusion. I hate this part. Seven inches, okay. Now if I select this face right there, and I go into sketch, and hit sketch, I'll sketch on this face, and what I will do is, in a minute, is select the line tool, go from this corner, or vertex, to this corner, to any arbitrary length, and all the way back up to this corner right there. Okay, now I select Smart Dimension, and I will make this 45 degrees. And then now, I go under Features, Extrude a Cut, and I'll select Through All, and hit OK. Okay, now I have the 45 degree cut and do the shell feature all over again. And that is it.